you're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, Thursday night football is going on right now. At the time of this recording, it is the first quarter, and the pregame is already complete. And during the pregame, I was absolutely surprised. Now, the Bengals and the uh, Browns are playing right now, which honestly I think is a dud of a Thursday night game. But I was checking it out, and during the uh, national anthem, I wanted to see if there would be any fireworks. And guess what, folks? We actually just got back to football in this game. Okay? Every player stood up for the Bengals and the uh, Browns. They were actually in the middle of the field. They were all interlocking arms, I guess, showing uh, unity. And there's actually fans in attendance at this uh, game as well. It looks to be probably, I'm just guessing off the top of my head, 17, 20,000 fans, something like that. And um, National Anthem was sung. And um, the woman that was singing the National Anthem was a black lady. No social justice messaging, no T-shirts, you know, showing George Floyd or Breonna Taylor, none of that stuff. None of that stuff. And check this out, folks. The end zones. You remember last week that um, across all the stadiums, and I thought this was going to be something for the whole season, in racism, and it takes all of us, is not in the end zones. The end zones are just the end zones. So at least for one night, folks, it looks like that we're actually going to have Regular football. This is what we have all been screaming for. Woke sports seems to have taken a night off. There's no mention of being woke. No social justice messaging. I don't see any decals on helmets. Now, did the NFL learn a lesson from their uh, their first week ratings? I hope they did. But we know there's going to be some level of wokeness, you know, going forward. We know that the Steelers... Overall, is still planning to put um, a criminal on the back of the helmets and a Antoine Rose Jr. But it's so nice. This is such a relief that I actually feel comfortable watching this game. I really, really do right now. And uh, looks like the uh, Bengals in the red zone. I still do not see in racism and it takes all of us. We are back to sports at least for one day, at least for one day. It is such a relief, folks, because this is what we have been screaming about. This really, really like makes me feel very, very good about the NFL for one night. Now, that could all change come uh, Sunday. You know, more players start kneeling, and then you can start seeing these decals, the Black Lives Matter, all this other stuff. We have gotten back to sports for one night. It is such a relief, and I may actually watch the rest of this game. Uh, if you guys have just been standing by and saying, I'm not going to watch because of all the kneeling and stuff like that. This is a game that you will probably want to watch, even though it's the Bengals and the Browns. I don't know who actually decided to make this a Thursday night game, because when I saw this on the schedule, I was like, man, this is going to be a dud. Nobody wants to see the Browns. Nobody wants to see the Bengals. These are two teams that are horrible, if you ask me. But it took. I guess two bad teams to stop the wokeness. Rose and I was just texting and Rose is just telling me that, uh, yeah, this seems like a game that I can actually watch. Now did somebody higher up in the NFL say something about the wokeness and that it needs to stop. We let you guys get away with it for one week. And I think I actually mentioned that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, if I'm not mistaken at the uh, beginning of the season, I think I actually said that, the NFL will probably be woke for a week or two. And then the owners are going to put the clamp down once they actually see that the ratings are going into the tank. And the ratings, they went into the tank. The NFL took a beating last week on the ratings. So maybe, just maybe, somebody stepped up and said, this has to end. We're not going to be super duper woke. I guess if you guys want to have decals, that's a team by team basis. But as far as the NFL, no Black National Anthem, that's gone. Uh, nobody's kneeling for the anthem right now. But I do expect, you know, still some players are going to kneel for the anthem. 
Uh, my Dallas Cowboys, you know, one player kneeled last week, Datari Poe. The NFL, maybe, maybe, just maybe, they can actually salvage their season. Get the fans back, make the fans happy. Um, it's nice to see that a few NFL players are starting to wake up and see the hypocrisy of the NFL owners because Rose just put up a video about the Steelers and uh, and uh, Pouncey has said he will not be putting the name of, of a criminal on the back of his helmet the rest of the season. He did his research, and it's just really, really crazy that the Steelers actually did that and enforced that on the players like that. But anyway, guys, I just want to make this quick video here. Sports is sports for one night in the NFL. I'm so happy, man. I'm very, very happy about this. It's so nice to actually make a video when I'm happy about sports because pretty much every video we put on the sports channel in you know, the last couple of months or so, me and Rhodes have not been happy with this state of sports. We're still not happy with the Marches NBA of China. We're cr criticizing, you know, the woke WNBA. But for one night, we can all rest calmly. Woke sports is dead for one night. For one night. No social justice messaging. I don't see any decals on helmets. You know, maybe there's some players out there, but I can't see it. You know, unless they really, really, really zoom in or something like that. But uh, for the Bills, I just see Buffalo Bills on the back of their helmets. I'm looking at ba Baker Mayfield right now. He doesn't have anything on the back of his helmet. It is just football. That is all we wanted, folks. We have just wanted football, and we're getting it tonight. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.